Today is a real sad day for me over here in the Everglades in South Florida. I am found the princess of the Everglades dead in the road, a Florida panther. A beautiful young female, about a year old, so you can still see the spots, killed right here in 833. This road is actually the reason why Florida panther come to be in danger. This is actually the most valuable wildlife that we have in the whole Florida state and the one of the most endangered species animals in the whole entire planet. To learn more about the Florida Panther, we're going to visit today Florida Wildlife Commissioner Alligator Ron Bergeron, who has dedicated most of his life to the protection of the Florida Panther. We're at Green Glades West in the beautiful Everglades, one of the natural wonders of the whole world. My resort here, which is natural, been out here all my life since I was a little boy, and the wildlife is so plentiful. We, we left camp, what? Five minutes five ago. Five minutes ago. And we got this monster right behind and, us. And here we got a bear <laughs> right here. So what we're gonna do today is uh, we're gonna ride around to our natural ranch. And this ranch borders the Big Cypress Preserve. And then we border the Seminole Indians' west boundary is our east boundary for six miles. The most beautiful thing about the Big Cypress Preserve, and especially this property, is the whole headwaters of the Kissimmee Billy, which is a very famous strand of cypress trees. And we even have 500-year-old cypress trees. Those trees were there when the Spaniards landed in the 1500s. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna keep traveling throughout uh, the beautiful ranch we have here, see if we can see uh, Deer, turkeys, hogs, bear, and maybe a panther. That can be wonderful. And that would be the grand slam of the Everglades. The possibility to find a Florida panther in the wild is very small. By going out with alligator run, everything can be possible. I've been out here so long with the wildlife that a lot of the deer come when they see alligator run. Well, they know alligator run's coming with some corn. White-tailed deer is a very shy critter and very rare they come close to people. Over here is different because alligator run, take good care of them. The Osceola turkey is only in South Florida. We were able to film that because those two hens were this year's chicks. They won't leave them, okay, until they can fly. Oh, look. Oh, wow. There, there's a, a bear and a hog together. T together, that is yeah. crazy. Wow, that is not something that we see every day. I mean, yeah. Those hogs got loose 500 years ago when the Spaniards landed on the west coast of Florida and they interfaced with the Calusa Indians, got in a big battle, and the Calusas were warriors. The cows, the horses, and the hogs got loose. They entered into the Everglades and acclimated to the environment and multiplied by the millions. Got a big bear coming in on us, and I think the way that bear's acting we need to be a little bit careful. Okay, big boy, you need to go that way. And most people, they really, they think everything out here is gonna come and get them. Yeah, I wouldn't advise the average person to, to be standing as close as we are, but I've been in this environment all my life since I was three years old and pretty well know what's dangerous and what isn't. You know, this particular area I've seen a lot of panthers. Matter of fact, I have a, a trail camera in this area that's got all kind of pictures of panthers, so our, our chance of seeing a panther in this area is very good. Can you talk to me a little bit about the Everglade Restoration? Everglades Restoration is the largest restoration in the history of the world. The Everglades, starting back in the late 40s, our forefathers drew a line uh, in order to give flood protection. And outside of the levees drained for people to live and inside the levees to be preserved forever. But when they did that, they compartmentalized the system with multiple levees, which stopped the natural sheet flow from Lake Okeechobee all the way to Florida Bay. Everglades restoration is to decompartmentalize and have a natural flow in the river of grass and also a quality of water to meet 10 parts per billion to, in order to save the Everglades. 
Commissioner, what are we doing today to protect the panther and what is the future in the Florida panther? When uh, the late 70s, early 80s, we were down to 28 to 30 panthers. The population was so low with their interbreeding that we were starting to have genetic problems. Fortunately, the panther study started. And here we are today with a tremendous success story, a tremendous increase in population. And the biggest threat to the panther today is loss of habitat. Managing our public lands, proper compatible water levels in a wetland environment that's compatible with the environment, the ecology, all of our wildlife, and all of our endangered species. And the other threat is the collision with cars. We average about 25 uh, deaths a year. What does that mean? Two things. Number one, we need more fencing. We need more underpasses because the panther, and it's a proven fact on Alligator Alley, uh, they use those underpasses. We've had very little interconnection between vehicles and panthers on Alligator Alley because it was constructed properly, proper fencing, proper underpasses. But on the Tamiami Trail and, and on 846 and 833 and all these highways uh, that travel through the beautiful Big Cypress Preserve, River of Grass, all the way to the Caloosahatchee, uh, we have about 25 panthers a year killed. So more underpasses, more fencing, better management uh, in uh, control of our water levels uh, that are compatible with the panther. And uh, I think the panther will live on for many years to come. And I think the population still has room to, to expand. Uh, and it's a great success story. And I'm very honored to be uh, involved as a commissioner uh, with the Panther. And matter of fact, just about 60 days ago, I was very honored to release one back into the wild that was injured May of last year uh, with a broken leg and it was rehabilitated and turned loose on my beautiful uh, natural uh, ranch out here in the beautiful Everglades. So we're heading in a very good direction here and we have to uh, keep going in that direction. Oh, look there, look, see all the hogs? Yeah, see them running? They're running off to the left, right over there. See, right through there. Oh, look, there, there's a panther. Oh my God, I can't, I can't, I, I can't believe this. Commissioner Alligator Run got the panther filming with his own camera. This is unbelievable. Absolutely gorgeous, and I'm, I'm filming a, a Florida panther, uh, an endangered species, one of the most beautiful, beautiful animals just sitting right there. Very, very beautiful. Boy, what a rare, rare thing to film a panther. They're, they're so elusive and they just sitting right there. Boy. Absolutely beautiful to film a Florida panther, uh, one of the most endangered species on the planet. Absolutely unbelievable. As your commissioner, I am very honored and very humble to protect the wildlife and the beautiful Everglades, one of the natural wonders of the world. And I hope one day into the future, our young generations can enjoy the grand slam of the Everglades, the big five that we've experienced in the last two days. And long live the Everglades and the wildlife that lives in the beautiful Everglades, one of the natural wonders of the whole world.